Brent Tech here. Wet Tech is made simple. On the 23rd of March, Microsoft rolled out the latest Windows 11 Insider Preview Build 22581 to the Dev Channel and the Beta Channel, which means now that Beta Channel Insiders have access to the next and first feature update rolling out for Windows 11 version 22H2 later on this year, which is also going to be codenamed Sun Valley 2. Now, because of this, if you are currently signed up to the dev channel, you might want to move from the dev to the beta channel if that's something that you would like to do. And as I've mentioned previously, you have a limited time to do this. And that's before Microsoft rolls out the next and new build to the dev channel. So if you want to move from dev to beta channel, you have a small window of, oppor of opportunity to do that currently. But before we get into that, I thought this would be a great time to talk about the different channels that are available in the Windows Insider program, as I do mention them quite frequently. And I thought that, that this would be a good time just to summarize what each channel is all about in the Insider program in case you were unaware. Now, basically, the Dev channel is for testing out new features. And those features, as I've mentioned previously, aren't tied to any specific up and coming feature update. And a lot of the features that are tested according to Microsoft in the Dev channel won't necessarily make it to a stable version in the future. And because the features are new in the Dev channel that are being tested, they can be unstable, leading to um, greater system instability um, in the Dev channel on those Dev channel builds. Now, the beta channel is for testing out feature updates that are a lot closer and that will actually roll out to the stable version in the in the future. And this a great example of this would be Windows 11 build 22581, which, um, as mentioned, rolled out uh, to Beta Channel Insiders yesterday on the 23rd of March. And this is the next feature update that will be made available and the first feature update made available for Windows 11 in the latter half of this year. Uh, although it's not a completely final build yet, as there will be some testing and tweaking that will take place in the beta channel before that is released. And then the release preview channel uh, for both Windows 10 and 11, as I've mentioned, is basically the closest preview build you will get before uh, uh, that build rolls out to the stable channel and stable version. And um, these are usually previews of cumulative updates that Microsoft tests. And you'll also see the latest feature updates in the release preview channel just a couple of weeks normally before Microsoft rolls those out to the stable uh, channel and the stable version. So that's basically just a, summary, a summary of the dev, beta and release preview channels in the Windows uh, Insider program. Now just to get back uh, to changing from the dev channel to the beta channel if that's what you'd like to do. Um, if we just head to the screenshot, I know a lot of you will know how to do this, but just as an example, um, if you want to move from the dev channel to the beta channel, um, you go to your settings uh, in Windows 11, and then you go to Windows Update, uh, Windows Insider Program, and then you choose your Insider Settings. You click on that, and then you have the opportunity to move from the dev channel to the beta channel. And um, if it's a channel, uh, that your PC is in, ineligible for, then basically it will be grayed out as you can see in this example. So that's basically a, a, a short example of how you can move from the dev channel to the beta channel currently, if that's something you would like to do. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.